Hello everyone, this is Blue Valkyrie once again, and this is the third installment. I know I should have done it yesterday, but I didn't. Um, we were all preoccupied with the hurricane coming over. So, today it will be day number three, and I'm sorry about that. Today I'm reviewing, or rather showing you, uh, the Vampire Tarot. There are several Vampire Tarots out there. I'm reviewing this one specifically. As you can see, the the art is this one. It's printed in Italy. There's that website. It was printed by US Games Systems. I don't know if they still are uh, a thing, but if they are still available, I should say. I think not, but this isn't the first uh, US Games systems that I, uh, tarot deck that I have. You will see later uh, one of the dragon decks that I have. So I'm also going to be showing you this, the new complete book of tarot, a step-by-step -step guide to reading the cards. It's supposed to be for beginners by Juliet Sharman Burke. And of course you see this because like I said, I uh, I cover them, and the flaps are like this, and they show you uh, prints of tarot decks, and basically, I purchased the book as a standalone, so we'll get to that later. Let's start with what came in the pack. In the little box came... A pamphlet. This one's more than a leaflet because it actually has more than a couple of pages, as you can see. And you know, it it tells you whatever the meaning of every card, of course. But there's always a first a description that it's more more like the artist's take on the card. Then you have the divinatory meaning and the reverse meaning and so forth. And it goes on and on. But usually, like I've said before, the meaning on one card in the one tarot deck, it's the same all throughout. It doesn't matter the image that you have. These are the tarot decks that they have printed. Now, this specific vampire tarot deck, I'm going to say quickly, I used to have it first, one of the first uh, ones that I got when I started collecting. I got it at Borders, I think. No, 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 my bad. I got it at a little store called Stonehenge, here. And I gave it to one of my cousins, my favorite cousin in the whole world. He's dead now. And then some months ago, well, more than one month ago, actually, I would say, about six or seven months ago, a dear friend of mine, Fe, hi Fe, how are you? Um, Fe is Spanish for faith. So she gave me the deck as a gift because um, she thought I could handle this deck better than she could. And went away. The deck came back to me. Not the same deck, but the same type. So, anyway, let's look at these. Okay, let me see if I can put them in a way that the light doesn't shine too much on them. So, as you can see, this is a major arcana card. And this is one of the other cards. You see... This is what I mean. This is the type of card that I like because you see the pentacles, right? You see the, the ten pentacles there, but you also see a piece of art that you're not going to see in any other. Uh, this is the Ace of Wands. Um, you have the Six of Swords. And again, it's an art aside from the Six of, six of Swords. This is the High Priestess. This is the King of Cups, this is the Queen of Swords, that's Gandalf, because another dog is, you know, making his presence 
be known. And for instance, see, this is the same theme in the sword, uh, but in the swords, but it's still kind of like a stony figure, but in a sense it's different because you still have the swords, but you have a different art. And basically this is how the deck looks. And this is what I mean. This is what I like about this deck. One of the many things I like about this deck, aside from the fact that they're vampires. But see, here's an example. You see here, here's the Six of Cups, right? And, you know, just a, a chair. And here, they're, they're still on a table, but there's something different about them. And in the background, this is some sort of door or window. I can't make it out. But... You see, it's different, and this actually has something to do with the meaning of the card itself. And see, for instance, here you have, this is the Five of Wands, and you see the Five of Wands, but you also see a piece of art. This is the Ten, no, Four, Four of Swords, and again, the same thing. This is what I like about this deck, it's not just putting stuff out there for the sake of putting stuff. They actually uh, include a piece of art along with it. So this is how the, the whole art, how it looks. I like the aesthetic of it as well. Gandalf, shut up! And I apologize for that. Uh, this is in the back cover of the box, of course. As you can see. Um... And basically, they're very... I like the art. There's there's something about it. It's, some people will not consider it a perfect art, a perfect type of art, but I do. I don't think there's such thing as perfect art. I think if the art speaks to you, it doesn't matter the style in which it's drawn or painted. Um, it's just art. You know, it's not rocket science. It's it's meant to be simple. Here's another example of what I was saying. Here you see the six ones, and you see this little piece of art here, as if it was a picture or a portrait in a wall. And the same thing you see here with the two of ones. And that is a recurring theme on the ones. And as you can see, this is another wand card. This is the Knight of Wands. Uh, uh -huh. This is the Hermit. Very Nosferatu-like. I love it. And so forth. And basically, this is what the this tarot deck looks like. Now, what I was going to show you about the book. Let's concentrate on the book. The book, it's supposed to be a beginner's kind of um guide but i don't think even if you are very experienced i don't think you should limit yourself because there's things in some of these books that are for beginners per se that maybe you don't know about so you learn something new and you can see they show you a picture of a card it's usually this looks a lot like the most commonly used uh, Rider White deck and it gives you a lot of information on everything about the card what is that uh, the card means why the symbols and so forth and it also tells you um, different things. It tells you around a, a bit about the positions. It tells you a lot of stuff that in reality, a lot of people, even myself, I really didn't know a lot. I mean, I knew quite a lot, but I can't say I know everything because that's not true. See, it gives you um, a spread. Well, gives you a lot of spreads and actually it what I like is that it gives you for instance they give you the name of this person uh, what the author did with uh, the person's needs and 
sh it shows you an account of what the reading was and what it meant with the situation. So in this way, it teaches you how to put them into perspective when you do a reading for someone else. Uh, I never recommend you doing a reading for yourself because you're going to be biased. Uh, a lot of people think that they can do that or they can do what they say, the, the card of the day, for example. And they take one card and that's the card that's going to tell them a little something about their day. See, another spread here. This one is called the Tree of Life. And again, another example. So basically, this is why this little book is actually really, really good. And I would say I agree a lot with how it's been read written and how the um, how the meanings have been allocated to each card. I would say it's one of the most accurate ones out there. And I really recommend it. I bet that if you try to find it, the cover is going to be different. But the most important thing is the title. This is re-illustrated so the original one doesn't look like this the new complete book of tarot step by step guide most important thing by Juliet Sherman Burke so thank you for watching uh, tomorrow there's gonna be another book and another tarot deck um, it's gonna be another vampire deck so you can see the difference and I might show this again just to compare uh, those cards with these cards and you can see how they are very different even though the theme is supposed to be the same vampires so thank you once again and i'll see you tomorrow bye bye